Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to address a question that I recently received from a reader about how to move items from a school-issued Google Drive to a personal Google Drive. In other words, how do I move it from G Suite for Education to Gmail? Now, before I answer the question and give you the demo, I do need to explain that depending upon your school district's settings in G Suite for Education, not all of these methods will work for all people. And I'll explain that as we go through. So let's go ahead and go jump into the Google Drive. And I'm going to sign into this account. And the simplest way that you can do this is to simply select an item. So let's say you have a Google Form quiz that you created and you want to move it from your G Suite account into your personal account. Simply share it with yourself. And in doing so, make sure that you've given yourself all the edit options that you want. And share it that way. Now, there are a few problems with that, or a few obstacles with that. First of all, if your school prevents you from sharing items outside of your domain, that won't work. Second of all, if you are leaving a job and your G Suite for Education account is going to be closed entirely, you may lose access to your original items as well. So, the other option is to simply right click on an item that you want to save, let's say this one here, and download it save it on your computer and then upload it into your new account or upload it into your personal account. Now that can be quite time consuming if you have a lot of files that you want to do that with. So in that case, I would recommend bundling them all into one folder and then downloading the whole folder and then uploading the folder into a different account. Now the other option you have here is to use Google Takeout. And you can find that at takeout.google.com. And this will allow you to now select the services that you want to download your information from. Now, by default, everything will be selected. Let's deselect all. And I only want to use right now Google Drive. And make sure I have all drive data included. And now we'll go down to the next step here. Choose the method in which we want to receive the zip file of all the information. You can get it in an email. You can actually have it sent to your Google Drive, but in this case that would be kind of pointless because the point is to get it out of Google Drive. You can set it to Dropbox, OneNote, or OneDrive, or Box. I'll just use the email option here. And we'll get it in a zip file, in the archive size. Note that if it's larger than this, it'll be split into multiple files. And create that archive. And in this case, my archive is already available and I can download it. And I can download that data. And I'll be able to then use it in my other account. Now, if we want to see what the email looks like when that comes through, let's just go ahead and take a look at that email. So there's the download, hit the download button. Make sure I sign into my account. And now we have that zip file landing here on my computer, which I can then download and save on my computer and upload into the other account I want to use. Now the other question that I received today what in that same email was about Google Classroom and how to handle Google Classroom at the end of the year or end of the semester. And I'll follow up 
on that question in a forthcoming video, which I'll be sure to link up in the comments down below this one. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.